Welcome back with an update on the tropics. So first off, let's get started with max 25 mile an hour wind remnants as of this of, as of 4 a.m. this morning. Yeah, max is done. Um, but it's gonna get sucked into this invest area and probably mess with the chances that thing forming. Um, the cone models with what's left. And winds, yeah, max is done. Next, we have Belaven with 85 mile an winds. As it goes through the Marina Islands, it was 80 mile an winds um, as it passed through. Uh, we're looking at 110 tonight, 130, 145, 145. Cannot rule out a brief super typhoon in this area. But is forecast weekend from that point 130, 110, and 85 mile an hour winds through the 15th. So from there, satellite imagery, and this thing is picking up steam for sure. And then we have Lydia, which is now a Cat 3 hurricane with 115 mile an hour winds. And it's forecast to make landfall tonight as a Cat 2, 105. Um, although with this thing becoming a Cat 3, I wouldn't be surprised if it makes landfall at say 120. Um, but it's going to weaken as it's over land. 40 mile an hour winds. And that's where it cuts off. Um, so, satellite imagery. Once this loads in, this will be thumbnail. Um, cone. With hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings. Models. Does have it going into the Gulf, which could lead to some issues with it possibly reforming. And we got winds. So from there, we have, well, nothing else forecasted to form in the Pacific. But at the Atlantic, we have Invest 92L with an 80% chance of forming over the next week. And 93L with a 30% chance of forming over the next week. So, with that, that would actually be it, but this thing here might get tagged, so do keep that in mind. Um, but it looks like this will become Sean probably tonight. Uh, this, it might get that, that potential tropical cyclone tag to it, maybe, if, there's, if the chances go up. Um, but beyond that, not much to be expected at this time. But yeah, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.